We are committed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% uh, until 2050. This requires from us to develop new technologies which make the airplanes much lighter. A lot of innovations happen behind the curtain. We have a dedicated life cycle approach, a very holistic view, not only the product itself, but also the operations and how we manufacture the product. This enables us today to go a new way in uh, airplane design. To use biological algorithms to go into a different kind of direction. How we design and manufacture components in the future. To come up with new design principles, to find out what makes sense in the future. We call it bionic. This is what the nature has done for millions of years. That we are able to copy the nature, this is, I didn't expect that to be honest. Certainly the bionic partition, as we call it, is also one product which has its roots in the biomimicry area. We have selected one of the most difficult structural components inside the A320 cabin. We can achieve this today is simply because we combine generative design, 3D printing and additive manufacturing. Just say what you want and you will get it from the software. If you think about the future and our task for the future, the biggest thing means we have to reduce weight. With bionic structures, we have a weight reduction potential of 50%. We have up to 95% raw material use and we have the chance to reduce the production steps by 50%. This is really a very big step for an aircraft builder. And this is just possible with generative design using Autodesk software. If this works, it works everywhere else. Now, step by step, we start to, to look for more uh, cabin parts and see where we can implement bionic design. I see here the biggest change I've ever seen. We have very long life products, you know. Each kilogram which we doesn't design in today doesn't cost fuel burn the next 25 years. It helps our customers, the airlines, and it helps the environment. <laughs>